What's up everyone? Today we're going to do south of Brownwood, over across the Brownwood Bridge, south of 44, north of the Turnpike, along Megason. Uh, we're going to go along Lake Okahumka, see what they're doing. The Brownwood Bridge is, I would say, pretty close to being done. You'll see they have a lot of a paved road up to the bridge, and I think they're just waiting to get the bridge paved and completed. Not much more to go, as you'll see today. Let's check it out. All right, so like we always start, typically we're starting off on Megasin, which runs south from Highway 44 toward the Florida Turnpike. Megasin is that double lane at your bottom of your screen there. You're gonna to turn to the right and look at some of the building or uh, ground moving that they're doing. They're putting in the clay, so that they can direct the water flow the way that they want to direct it. You see all the retention ponds up in front of us and you can see some of that clay. You have the clay at the bottom of the screen. So the clay helps them to direct water flow the way they want. That way they don't get pooling in certain neighborhoods or areas, especially the low ground. And then they direct it to these retention ponds the retention ponds are used to ship water from one location to another. So if one area is dry for using it to water your yard or things like that, then they'll transfer the water that way. They use like an underground system. It's pretty interesting. They get a lot of developers that come in here and check their systems out from all over the world. So that's what they typically do before they build the housing developments in here. Up ahead, you can actually see the area south of the turnpike on the corner of 301 and the turnpike that they're, they've been working on that for quite some time. I'm interested to see what they're gonna do with this area. I believe they might put another golf course in here, but I'm not totally positive it's all still quite wooded and swampy as you can see a really nice nature area and then we're gonna turn kind of south and go back to the east here in a second you can see that area right next to 301 straight in front of us like I said, they've been working on that for a while. And then coming up this way on the east, you're going to see the Water Lily Bridge. The Water Lily Bridge will be the last of the three that opens up. The Brownwood Bridge is actually going to be the next one that opens. And you'll see that coming up pretty soon. They're pretty close on that one, I believe. So the Water Lily Bridge is actually right up there. You can see it right there with the arrow and that spans across the turnpike. That also is gonna be another golf cart bridge only. And then you have this area with the retention ponds again, headed kind of north. You see that trench that runs along under that road. I have a feeling that's for excess water flow just in case before they get all the irrigation in. And then we're going to turn toward the east here. You'll be able to see Lake Okahumka and the eastern side of this entire area. This is a pretty big area that they're developing here. I'm waiting for the villages to actually put out what's going to go here and how many houses what kind of neighborhoods. Lake Okahumka is straight in front of us. See a little thing pop up for that. More retention areas and I believe they're gonna do a lot of paths through here, through the nature, because they are leaving a lot of the swampy areas here. The thing that I find most interesting about this area is all of the water. So, like when Hurricane Irma rolled through and all that water poured down, we had an excess of a ton of water and a lot of flooding in these kind of areas. 
So I'd be interested how the villages is going to handle that. Are they more equipped to deal with it than in the Spanish Springs area where they had flooding for probably close to seven to 10 days. So I, if they learned from the irrigation in that area, from driving water from one area to another, it doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Which is why I would assume they're taking their time on this kind of stuff. As we turn to the north here, you, you see the villages have kind of <laughs> engulfed this little retirement community here. This is not the villages, that's right in the middle of all of this, but they are right by the Brownwood Bridge, or the bridge that goes across Highway 44 from Brownwood. And that bridge is in view now. One thing I did notice during this flyover is they have a walking path coming up to the bridge from both sides that they do not have on the Chitty Chatty bridge. So this, this bridge actually has a walking path up to it and down from it on both sides instead of just the northern side. I think they did that on the Chitty Chatty side because the Chitty Chatty the side on the south is extremely long. It's a long decline slope and they probably didn't want to put the walking path the entire way. But you can see this is almost done here. All this road that leads up to the bridge. So it would seem that they don't have too much to go here. but it stops right there, probably about a, an eighth of a mile from the bridge surface, surface itself. And you can see that walking path there going up from the side. And then this is looking west as the sun sets. The Brownwood Square is right up to the right there in the top right of the screen. And then there's a bridge that goes down over across into the movie theater parking lot also. Coming up you'll be able to see the Brownwood Lofts, the Brownwood Square, live entertainment was going on so we got a little sneak peek of that. There's a walking path starts right there at the end of that bridge. And this is the movie theater parking lot right here. coming into Brownwood Square now. Hope you enjoyed the flight here. Stick around, you'll be able to see a little bit more of the square, more of this area. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. As always, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.